Hello, everybody. Welcome back to State of Scrims. This is what, episode 34. Y'all enjoyed the beach episode last night. I know you did. That's a fact. Um, hoping oh, that true. people are actually on, but if not, you'll get to watch this um, later. But uh, I am going to wait until we have at least a couple of viewers, and then we will try the, um, the, the evil, the dream drink. Yeah. The, the wonderful combination. But um, we can go... The prophesied drink. Yeah, we can go for a... Uh, a recap first. Um, lots of games uh, here. How do I position this so it's like on screen? Do I have something that I can like prop it up with? There's, drinks. there's a science here, I'm sure. Hold on. If I put Dude. it here and then. Well, like we're not sponsored by Spirit Off Ice or Dr. That's Fest, true. I'll turn, it really I'll turn it backwards. Do they deserve our ad time? That's I don't know. Question. This is probably going to fall, but. Um, here, what if we do like like this? This doesn't work. Here, I'll just I don't know. If I hold it backwards, it's like not sponsored, right? I'll just Okay. People True. people know what's up, you know, and that that's that's what matters. This way that they'll know that it's coming. And I think that's mm -hmm. what's really important. Um, true, true. The anticipation of it all. Yeah, so um anyway, you keep an eye on chat and see if uh, I, I want PB and Noam to be here at least. Um you know the the teammates. Yeah. Of uh, but anyway, uh, lots. It's really hard to read this because <laughs> it's like I'm just out of focus. What's so blocking like the whole screen in my peripherals? <laughs> um. But okay, fruit cakes versus rift sharks. Um. This was so long ago. Uh. What like eight days? But yeah. Um. First game. Uh. Was pretty damn close. I feel like. Uh. It's actually, just easier if we look uh, game by game. Um. Mm -hmm. So. Let's just go here. Um, we were able to clutch it out. Uh, actually, this one was less close than I remembered it being. The second... I mean, it was still close, though. The, the second but... game was a lot closer than the first one. Was it? I feel like we rolled the second one, but... Oh, yeah. this, the second yeah, one was yeah. a lot faster. But anyway, um, Evan, Evan kind of ate on the Darius, I will say. Um, Y'all's team comp was interesting, and you kind of held it even, but I feel like it is hard to win when you have a uh, Draven Yasuo kind of steamrolling the game. Um, uh -huh. I feel like Rift Sharks kind of came out strong off the bat with this one. Um, not our listed starting sure. lineup, but I think um, it probably is going to end up being our de facto starting lineup uh, as the season goes okay. along. Uh, mostly just based on availability, to be honest. But um, sure. I don't know. Nothing too much uh, for that first game. Uh, although Eric's Malphite was deserving of a ban after that performance. Um, Kai did sub in sure. for the second game uh, for Fruitcakes. Um, and Rift Sharks drafted <laughs> what we like to call an evil composition. Uh, we had two assassins, a Mundo, a Hawaii, and a Nami. Um, we ended up stomping this game somehow. Um, I feel like if we didn't, um, we wouldn't have won. Um, Kai did completely fucking body me in the mid lane, though. Shout out Kai, the goat. Um, but yeah, pretty uneventful series. Uh, moving on, uh, Rift Sharks versus Andromeda. Both of these teams were 1 0 going into here. Um, did you watch this game or? Uh, no. Okay, fake fan, fake fan. Um, anyway, this first like... game was fucking insane. Um, Andromeda yeah, was literally. I, think I watched like the first ten minutes of both games, and I saw Apari on Viego versus Noam, and I just closed the stream because that champion's not that good, and he is picking it into a jungler who has eyeballs. So. I okay. just didn't need to see the rest of it, but yeah. Well, I will actually defend Apari here. He almost basically like single-handedly won them that first game. He played out of his fucking mind. Um, okay. He had a crazy fight towards the end of the game, and I guess I am showing Dr. Pepper. Oh, it says Dr. Pepper on both sides. They're fucking scamming me, bro. What the hell is this? Here, yeah. nutrition facts. Unhealthy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, they had this crazy fight there in our base, and um, it was just me and PB alive. I spawn in. Pentakill. Easy fucking clap, bro. The oh, I saw that. The Sivir comes the online. Uh, Evan had a great game, too. Um, the match, top matchup, Warwick versus Valibear, was definitely interesting. Um, I wasn't focused too much on it, because I was laning, but... Uh, um, I think I saw Avery typing a lot, saying fan much in all chat. Uh, I didn't know we were allowed to all chat this season. I will be using that in my future series, so but... Yeah, that was kind of a banger. I do remember that. And then they redrafted the fucking Viego again with yeah, a victor. Yeah, because it the stream, wasn't the so. problem. Um, but sure. Well, uh, no, they anyway, it with a victor though. Like you have okay. no lane I mean, set up for the Viego. That would be here. the problem. 
But anyway, they did ban the Volibear, which um, actually they left Nila open both times, uh, which was kind of nice. Uh, but we decided to pick yeah. it the second time around. Um, I don't think there was much thought really there. It was just, fuck it, pick me Nila. Um, when we yeah. already had Kane Darius flipped, so it kind of forced me on AP. But I literally played Aesol. I don't think I interacted with anyone all game. Uh, it's amazing that I even had 6 KP. Um, yeah, Evan got a basically one v five Penta in the middle of the game, and I was taking top tier two <laughs> split push ace hole moment. Um, but Stanley laned really well into me. I do want to give him props there. Um, same with mm. Bean. I feel like he was able to neutralize Avery getting ahead. Um, and like if you look at it, there was a super short game. Um, like there weren't a lot of deaths. Uh, it oh, was yeah. what um, fifteen total on the other team, uh, and we died like five times. So it was a very like short game um it was yeah. just like evan was able to make a lot of plays happen uh with like avery and noam there to set him up um just a solid game uh pretty quick pretty easy uh rift sharks clutched it out um now this series is one for the fucking record books uh oh i guess no we one, do a little selling here no one logged the last game uh noam if, if you're watching please please you told me you would um but anyway, Metabusters fucking annihilated Fruitcakes in probably the fastest series we've ever seen. I think the total game time was like under, it was like 39 minutes or something ridiculous like that. Yeah. Um, Tusini popped the ever living hell off. Korn played super well. Um, Fujir had an amazing game. Jackson swapping to support, eating on the Nautilus, and then Stav absolutely popping up with the Jinx. Um, there was an insane alley you play. Fujir pops the Cataclysm. Um, and then Stav just nails all the way across the map with Jinx ulti. Uh, this team just played super cohesively and really well. Um, definitely came back after their like early loss to Andromeda, um, yeah. which I feel like, I don't know, they're only struggling um, uh, a little no, bit. You're logging the second game versus uh, 101 Thieves versus Fruitcakes. Uh, both games of 101 Thieves versus Fruitcakes. Yeah, both um, games. Eric sent them, I think, um, in post games, but uh, I asked someone to send them and then immediately closed my computer so I didn't get it yesterday. Um, yeah. But hold on, let me pull Mason back up. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, they kept it kind of close uh, in this first series, uh, but Honan and Stav and then Bean just kind of put a lot of work in in that second game, and then the Gwen just absolutely tore them apart in the first game. It was really hard to get yeah. stuff done, but... Uh, they just matched up so much better into fruit cakes, but we did get to see 101 Thieves first game, which isn't going to be counted here. But hopefully, we can get it logged um, ASAP so that we can review it when we go over meta later. Um, but banger fucking series! Please watch that if you hadn't. Um, it's really good. Uh, very bloody games um, in the early part, more so in game one. Um, but 101 Thieves definitely showing that they have a lot of individual talent. Um, they had like three players pop the like hell off across the series unfortunately they weren't all in the same game so they weren't able to get one but um it was a 2-0 by fruitcakes um which was nice to see after their their two losses i think um people were were doubting a little bit but they were able to get a win um which does put the standings um exactly as i predicted them uh, with my power rankings um except andromeda and metabusters uh, are flipped i believe but they're tied so it doesn't matter but, or maybe I put my team second. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm trolling by saying that. Didn't but... we both put Earthstrike second? I don't remember. No, you put your own team second. Oh, right, right. That was the... the... Maybe I put Rift Shark second and Metabusters first, but I mean that... Okay, maybe maybe I'm lying. But people believe yeah, yeah. me. People reacted with fire emojis to what I said, so that means it like sounded true, which is... True. true that's true. that's what matters. Yeah, but... yeah. Perception greater than reality or whatever. Yep. Uh, Jonah here, Noam here. Oh, we got five viewers. Okay, we're fucking balling. If one of them's probably me, one of them's probably you. But um, yep. is it is it drink time? Sure. I believe there you so. go. See this man. What what am I supposed to do with him? What do you mean, dog? Do I need to? Yeah, yeah I'll be over. Ooh, like... The smoke. Okay. Um. So in the in the dream, I feel like there wasn't that much Dr. Pepper in it. So I think what we do is we just drink a little bit of it and then put slight amounts of Dr. Pepper in to kind of like fuel progressively, right? So just just drink a little bit. This one? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. We're tempting fate here. There's a 50% chance that more brown liquid gets spilled in our house today. Sweet tea, not anything else. This is the tie. Yes. Okay, no, no, this is actually perfect. I don't think you need to put that much to get the flavor. Uh, you just hold yours up in the air so we can see it. Just hold it up, like, in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't see what's happening. I think we're good. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, and then if it's fine, we will add more. <laughs> this actually just looks like fucking, like, shit water. Like, this is vile. <laughs> this is the worst. No, you can't taste the Dr. Pepper. Mason, get back in here. All right, we're back, chat room. Mason, come back. This, it just tastes like Smirnoff Ice. It, <laughs> the, yeah, the ratio yeah, is right. wrong. Just drink it to about half, I think. No, no, just drink it to about half, and then then you're good. The food coloring is just way more potent than the flavor. Oh, now this is fucking vile. This is perfect. Okay, Older's up in the middle again. We gotta we gotta show the audience. Oh, you need more. There we go. Liar. You can see it on camera where it is. Yeah. Fuck. No, keep it over the table. Don't put it on the carpet. Okay. We're good. Uh. No, no, no. It all got on my leg, which is uh, that's better. I just need to like take a shower <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Which was going to happen anyway. League players don't do that, but, you know, some of us are truly special. Huh? It's okay, I'm just, I'm just monologuing, you know? So what's, what's the read? <laughs> it is a little demonic, TM. I don't know if y'all have had the Dirty Dog Pepper from Sonic. I'm going to show a little bit, but uh, I would recommend getting that as well. This might actually just be too much Dr. Pepper. I mean, I prefer Dr. Pepper to smear off ice, so. No, it's like both. It, it's kind of canceled out into nothing. Yeah, a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. It was like a bit of both, but like, I don't know. Also, well, Johnny, what are you pulling up, brother? Pull up, dog. I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, also... Uh, I'll I'll message you, Jonah. Whatever you feel like, DM. This is a joke. This is probably. This is this is wild. <laughs> it's it's like. It's not good. I don't. It's think. both. It's not good. It's not like bad, but it's not good. Yeah. Definitely had better. Yeah. All right, Offic you definitely made better. Don't worry. Official scrim zone drink. Um, I don't want this to be our official drink. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. We need a better one. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Our our games locked. Games locked. Amazing. Noam is the best. Uh, w Noam in chat. Um, once again, the only admin to do any work. This is a joke. I love you, Stanley. What, what about me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, the only admin besides you. You're like, you're like so server true. owner. You're obligated to do work. So no one is like choosing to do work. Okay, but we will go back over these with a, a visual reference added. Um, Drago popped the fuck off in the first game. Uh -huh. Um, basically one v nine. There were multiple times where he just teleported into the entire enemy team. Yeah, he this also just like kind of threw like a couple instances. Oh my and the god! The psycho carrot, oh psycho carrot on Anivia game two is very funny, but like, uh, the no classic, one clutching uh, it up. No one clutching it up. True. The classic psycho carrot, uh, off of this... like into ten death power spike goes crazy on the Here, terror, Can but... I can I inspect element? Edit this to be the right thing. 
Uh, yeah, we know Garrett was set on game two. Uh, do not ask Taxi about his build in game two. Ah, uh, shut up, uh, Oh, there we go. Okay, fix it, fix it, fix it. No one even knows. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Jonah had a really good Zyra jungle performance in the first game, I feel like. Yeah, um, I played well both games. Uh, yeah, I mean, well. Cappy and Kai actually had a lot of combo set up, and Mason was able to just kind of show up with the Shivana and dunk on it. Um, I feel like the Nautilus top pick didn't work out the way they wanted it to. Um, he kind of got smashed in lane. Oh, so he, yeah. he was able to do more stuff, but... He was able to click R in team fights, and really, what do you drop Nautilus right. for if not to click yeah. R Yeah, I fights? mean, they just kind of had two supports, which I think worked out super well. Um, in the mm. second game, though, Eric fucking dominated on Trundle. It was fantastic. Uh, he started yeah. off the game 6-0 and zero in top lane. Uh, I don't think you can ask for a better uh, top lane yeah, performance. Yeah, he fucked the fuck off. Especially uh, the Drago, like a, which I feel like yeah. everyone is predicting that matchup being um, one-sided and not in the way it went in the second game. Um, yeah. but I mean the second game like scorelines aside it was actually super close because Will and Taxi were doing fucking ludicrous amounts of damage in the late game with yeah. Scaled Smolder and AP Kaisa uh, Will basically just like one tapped Eden twice in a row and well <laughs> um, there's a, <laughs> a questionable Kaisa play um, towards the end too he got uh, the Sona down to basically zero and then decided to ult in 1v5 to finish off the Sona which is not what you want to do um, no, you should do that more on Kaisa, personally speaking. It, it was rough, but a, a yeah. lot of damage was coming out from them, and I thought, like, it really felt like the game could go the other way. They got the gold lead towards the end, too. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is like, it hits, like, the burps from this are awful and powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> something's Not wrong. Not as bad. Like, here we are. Uh, but yeah, Jonah, despite the scoreline, he's still like a Baron, because I'm fucking old as hell and can't hit his fight anymore, but, uh, a good series for him Multiple overall. objectives. I think he saw at least two. But um no, Yeah, Kai, I think it was two, so Kai popped off there. Um Kathy had a solid performance on MF, and I don't think we really knew the MF was uh there. I mean she picked it a couple times, but not to too much success, so it's kinda cool to see that come out. Um and Mason uh, denying the Shivana pick from Jonah both games uh was pretty solid. Um did really well on it. Um and I don't know, I feel like it's more of a carry jungler, which I feel like um, Fruitcakes had kind of struggled not being able to play around a carry jungler as much. Um, Do not ask how many E's I hit but, that game. Uh, PV will tell you the number exactly, but... Uh, one? At least, I think. <laughs> He's I, on I, saw, I saw Psycho Care complaining about it, so I, I did enough damage, I guess. Amazing. Uh, I'm gonna wipe the fucking Dr. Pepper off my desk. <laughs> I do. Alright. Um, me personally, I think we should talk more about the funny sign up game that we had. The, the 314 kill sign up? Yeah! That That's was the most interesting part about that game. About? You hit the same amount of shivies as girls you've I've talked to, zero. I think I hit more than that. Psycho Carrot wouldn't complain about my damage on Shimada if that was the case. That's so but. true. One of my favorite leak clips I have on my hard drive is Shivana one-shotting a bot lane with an E. Like, both True. members of the bot lane threw Morgana Black Shield through. It was fucking gross. Um, that yeah. champion is stupid. I hate her. Um, Agreed. But anyway, uh, this series was a fucking banger. Super close. Um, I feel like both teams had a lot of upsides. Um, Taxi struggled a lot um, in that mid lane matchup versus Kai the first time around. In the second one, he still died a couple times, but I feel like as Smolder, you're kind of taking that L. Um, I did hear some murmurings that the Smolder was supposed to go top, and then they saw the Trundle pick, and they, like, forced it mid lane, so I don't know if this is something we'll see more from Taxi, or if they've just, like, learned their lesson here, but it is a pretty good three-way flex. Um, Will can definitely play the Smolder as well, and I think... You don't think hate Kaisa a, mid, but... I think a newly formed being from the primordial soup of life could play fucking Smolder, but yeah. Right. I guess. No, I just felt like, I don't know if he wants to, right? Like... Like, if okay. they didn't pick it for him and he ended up being forced to play it, like, maybe they might want to avoid it again. Like, he did a good job piloting the champion. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, maybe he doesn't yeah. want to. Um, That's fair. So uh, Jonah's saying, I, I love realizing Shivana is sleep ropey after the series. My brother in Christ, this champion, has been S tier, like, two patches in a row. <laughs> this champion has been good for, like, the last three months of this game, brother. Where have you been? 
I haven't been playing. Fair enough. My bad dog. You go get that bread or whatever else you're doing in life. This this ain't it, dog. This just gets worse. Yeah, <laughs> it, I'm almost done with it because I just need to get rid of this. It was like palatable at the beginning, but it, it's just vile. Uh unfortunately. Don't try this at home. Um Yeah, correct. But anyway, how have your is there any teams that your thoughts on have changed entirely since we last uh discussed since the last episode? No, not really. What I don't even remember my power rankings, but like I someone, sort of just made them up the, on the spot. Pull the logs, pull the logs. Pull the logs, sure. Uh I like lied entirely on all of them because I <laughs> did not think about them critically in the slightest, but eh, close enough. Good enough, TM. Oh, I found it. Oh wait, I was Is right. It... I mine actually are correct, so we ate. We ate. Yeah. We're good. Mine was not correct, but I I don't care. I made them up on the spot. And Wait, but made do, some of them come very into. Do you still agree with them? <laughs> sure. Why not, bro? <laughs> okay. Mason is doubling down on Andromeda being first place. Just the most reasonable of these, I think. Um, yeah, 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 that requires us losing to them tomorrow, though, right? So. Well, not necessarily. You're, you're only second, but this you're currently in fourth. So you still do need some wins, and it it could be for yeah, Andromeda, yeah. you know. Um, but I mean, I think, uh, it should be a pretty interesting game tomorrow. Um, mm. we can kind of look forward and see the two series that are going to happen, um, coming up, which sure. are going to be, um, Fruitcakes versus Andromeda and Rift Sharks versus 101 <laughs> Thieves. Oh my God. This is awful. Um, it's okay. It's now that I've returned to my run trick. Yeah, I agree. You should be locking in Shivana. That champ's fucking silly. Yeah. But. Uh, Andromeda versus Fruitcakes. Um, I feel like Andromeda has a lot of potential here. Um, but I think this is going to be a tough matchup for them specifically. Uh, because I feel like Honan does a really good job of like neutralizing um, lanes that are... Oh my god. Supposed to be stronger than him. But I don't know if he does as good of a job just hard carrying. And I feel like uh, Fruitcakes have struggled a little bit in the bot lane department. But honestly, Kathy, uh, when they keep her on ADC... Or in the bot lane, I think they tend to do really well. Um, so I feel like that should kind of be a wash for Andromeda. So it really is going to come down to that mid lane. Um, I don't know if Kai is playing or not, but uh, I do still hold that. I think Kai is like top one or two um, mid laners in the server this season. So if they're able to run him, I think that gives Fruitcakes a l big opportunity to do really well. Um, but moving into the jungle, I think Apari versus Mason or even Julian, depending on who's playing, um, I think it's going to be very interesting, but I do think Fruitcakes has a slight edge there. So I think it's really going to come down to how Andromeda can play around the solo lanes and see if Lippy Honan are able to kind of um, outperform expectations. Because I feel like they looked really strong in the Metabuster series and kind of struggled um, into the Rift Sharks. So I think it should be um, a bit interesting. But I don't know what your read on it is. I won't ask you to disclose too much since you are the one playing but I'm going to have fun clearing my camps. Uh, no, I'm just talking about how Chivana is boring. My brother in Christ, you just don't play the champion correctly. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> but uh, that's a different conversation. I'm, uh, um, I would guess if we're, if you don't want me to talk about that series, I can talk about the next no, one. No, no, I mean, like, give, give your take on it. I just don't want you, like, I don't know how much you want to talk about it. Uh, like, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to click on my camps and run around and we'll see what happens we'll amazing. see how the chips fall amazing input. you're building rallies you're supposed to build rallies on that champion let's relax <laughs> and also you can build whatever the fuck you want on shivana that champion has like zero ability to fuck up your builds you can go ad ap tank off tank uh click random but items in the shopkeeper and you'll probably do okay on that character uh but <laughs> Yeah, uh, series should be fun. Um, yeah, I guess most of your analysis is probably right. Uh, I think I beat Apari, but we'll have to see. If he chooses to lock in Viego versus me, that'll be kind of fun. But uh, Is there a way yeah. where you just ego pick the Viego into him? Surely. No, because I'm not a sicko. He doesn't have that hands. Champion's good. He just doesn't have hands. He can't play Viego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Viego's, that, Viego's not a tank. He can't do it. Yeah, 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 I'm washed. I'm unk now, I guess. Sure. This is true. 
Uh, Jonah steals yeah. every objective from you. Yeah. But yeah, it should be a fun series. I'm excited to play. Uh, Kathy versus Hunter should be fun to watch. Um, or play. I gotta, should I say watch? I should probably just say watch. I mean, you can um, say watch because other people will be watching it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder who they're going to be playing topside. Uh, Bean Sarvis is like an interesting duo. Uh, Stanley coming in, I think, was a weaker roster than the Sarvis version, but that's just my opinion. From like the ten minutes that I watched of the game, I don't think uh, if Starve is playing that he can't punish either Bean or Avery or not Bean Dean or Avery in the series. Like I think he punishes them better than the way that Stanley did, but that's just my opinion. I think it could go either way. Um, but yeah, curious to see what roster they run. They beat. Okay. All right. So thoughts on the next series then? That you guys should fucking out. slaughter one on one thieves. I'm sorry. Psycho Carry is God's greatest fucking seller. Roville fucking lethality yeah, center. He did build lethality center in that center. series. And uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's the only reason they lost. Uh, it right? might be. It might be. But <laughs> there, there were a couple times where bro was not useful in that fucking. Okay. Game I mean, I think top lane lethality. is the reason they lost. To be honest, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I they could have saved it at the end if not. Oh, rip on the go! Lethality. Watch me fucking send yeah. this man to the, the fucking. The lethality box. setup was fucking awful. There, there was yeah. no justification. He for also, that one. grew like a couple times on the Tarek. He popped his ult in really weird spots and like died ten times on Tarek. That's a little weird. Just my brother Eleven Christ. times on Tarek. Yeah, like, brother, I'm sorry, if you are dying 11 times on Tarek, you don't deserve rights. I'm sorry, bro. That's just how it'd be. I don't know. I think Psycho Care is a better player than he showed in those uh, two games, um, so I'm hoping I'm to play against a better three. form of Psycho Care into us. This first game of the split, he's scared Joe. Yeah, he's scared of Unk? Come on, bro. You can't be scared of Unk, dog. Let's be fucking for real. Like, he's scared of me? I'm washed. I'm old. I'm geriatric. My ass belongs in the retirement home. What is he scared of? I'm oh gonna catch Black My Association. Nah, Jonah, no, no, you, no, no, you no, play no. really all that series. Um, <laughs> you played the best on your team, brother. What? Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of hard to predict what 101 Thieves is going to run. Uh, they have a pretty big roster, lots of good players. Yeah. We didn't get to see Dominic, um, either Dominic, play um, previously. And uh, Rex is also a wild card. But Rex is currently banished to the foreign well, lands. Who knows when he's getting back? True. but I do, actually, but that's not the point. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I think they have a lot of interesting things they can do, and I think we do need to watch out. Like, I don't think this is a necessarily a walk in the park from Rift Sharks. I think um, 101 Thieves is going to get better as they play together more, because um, I think it was pretty obvious from the first game that they hadn't really gotten uh, much cohesion, yeah. uh, because That's they definitely fun. weren't playing together as a team. A lot of the calls were super mixed, a lot of, like, engages that were unsynchronized. So I think if they kind of get that together, they know. definitely have the mechanical skill to be a very strong team. So I think okay. anyone kind of sleeping on them um, surely we get better by playing together surely yeah surely you can get that group of people to play together i believe in you Do jonah but i mean i think that they uh are definitely not like a team to sleep on i don't think um that's the best we're gonna see out of them uh, yeah i, I feel like if all the i will be very if all the players flip heads in the eat. same game i think it's a little scary i feel like yeah. there were five total head flips um across that series <laughs> psycho carrot flip Just tails twice <laughs> Uh, Drago and Jonah flipped heads game one, and then Jonah, Will, and Taxi flipped heads in game two, right? So if you get yeah, it yeah. all lined up, I think they're a very um, terrifying team. Um, but I feel like Rift Sharks is super consistent. I think that's probably our strongest attribute. So I think we should have a good chance into them. Um, but I feel I like they, they have individual players on their team that I think do have higher ceilings than... Yeah. Um, most of us one to one, I think, um, support probably the exception there. But uh, we we do draft uh, for PB the goat. So um, Jonah is I a shepherd trying to corral a group of rabid cats. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I believe in my goat psycho carrot. He will gap the shit out of PB when he finds the item known as Echoes of Helia in the shop when he plays Senna. That's my prediction for the series. So true. 
Um, but I mean, I think if I had to pick which series would be closer, I would probably say Andromeda versus Fruitcakes. Uh, so make sure to tune into that. I think we get another Jacob mm. Stav cast. Um, and Rift Sharks aren't playing, so the Rift Sharks uh, fucking theme effect that they do hopefully won't show up. That shit was kind of awful. I'm gonna be real, but um, real real watchers know. Um, fake watchers don't. That's that's just how it is. Um, but tune into that, and then if you can grab the game Sunday too, but definitely check it out. I uh, don't want to self glaze too hard, but uh, no, no, the no, you're glazing one on one So good. when you win versus them, your win looks better. I understand. I see the vision, Dean. It's I mean, very I good. Literally was just saying that I think Rift Sharks is good, and you should watch us win again. But you know, cut me off no, no, no. too. That that works. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot to see here. Uh, Rift Sharks 4 is 0 right now, and we had four different players win MVPs, which I think is kind of notable. I feel like um, the team is very uh, well balanced. Um, yeah. I think Noah might be the only one to have not, um, but I could be wrong. Yeah, because Avery definitely didn't. I know Evan did. Um, so what I'm hearing is that Noah's got to step up, I guess. Um, True. Real. Uh, sorry, sorry, Noah. Um, just play better. Uh, let <laughs> um, on the champs that I draft you that aren't really <laughs> able to look good and carry games. Uh, my bad. Uh, actually, my fault. Um, but I think we should go over and take a look at the meta because um, I think it is pretty interesting. Um, there's a couple of champions that I think are going to pop up more um, if my stats page actually loads. Are you going to get to talk about the Senna? God, I hope not. Uh, I, I'm sure. Um, but actually, going into that, like those last couple series, uh, Nami was super high prio. But now that we're at 10 games, um, it's kind of shifted a bit. Um, Twitch yeah. and Udyr have both been banned six times and not played. Um, oh, I Twitch, why. I think four of these are against Stav and two of these against Will. And then all six of these are the six games that Mason played, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, Aurora yeah. is the highest. Um, the KDA sort is not working. Because of probably the infinite. Um, so I'll just probably. sort by kills. And I'll sort by picks and then KDA. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, I don't know what was up there, but... Um, Ezreal and Garen uh, underperforming set is actually... Uh, oh, these are all one picks. So they don't really matter as much, but... Um, maybe you sort by picks. Yeah, maybe this is all shit data. But uh, Jinx looking very good. But those are just stops two games. Four champions with infinite KDA. Um, two of those are me, so uh, sh shout out me, I guess. True. But the third self picks, plays um, Navi has been picked five times and has not been banned at all. It looks like, which um, I don't. That doesn't seem correct. The other two are Evan, I think. Um, is that true? Aurora was not Evan, but he did have a deathless game. I think. Um, this would be Tusini. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess no bans on Nami, which it doesn't seem right, but I guess, uh, you know, three and two on the pick, but insane KDA coming out here, uh, I guess it just makes sense for an enchanter. Um, Darius has been showing up a lot too, super high presence. Um, then Lux is another one. I think we just have a lot of Lux players. I don't know if it's necessarily a super strong pick. Hasn't been performing, um, very well, but Kane's two and O. Oh. Uh, Aurora is undefeated, which has been banned a lot. Mundo getting played a lot, nothing crazy. Um, Huey undefeated, super high KD. Um, Nautilus is 3 0 oh, so far. Um, but I mean, it looks like we actually have a super diverse meta here, which isn't something yeah. that we normally see. Um, a lot of like one off of champions. Have, like, different play styles and like they're drafting more for different team strengths rather than. Uh, a unified kind of meta thing like meta isn't super solved and it's like pretty open so like we're seeing more gravitation towards like individual player champions like i think kaiser Kali got through and he kind of performed on that um yeah. uh afari's been playing a lot of Diego. i hate the champion but i think he played okay in one of the games probably Dude, that's Mason probably is a true, fucking but... apari hater it is crazy <laughs> Um, I hate Viego, not Afari. There is a difference. So true. I love playing the champion. Don't get it twisted, but like the champion sucks balls right now. No. Yeah, I mean, shout out uh, PB. Thirteen point three three KDA on Nami across two games uh, is a little criminal. Um, went one two and twenty four and one zero one fifteen. Uh, kinda kinda good there. 
Um, but I mean, I don't know. We can look, we can look at player KDAs. Uh, Evan and PB have been fucking annihilating. They both have twelve plus KDA, uh, which is crazy. Um, Kai, another one that's up there. Same with Stav, Jackson. Um, so I mean, just some players to kind of watch as we go through the season. Um, I think we had already mentioned a couple of these kind of going into the season. Um, Tusini performing really well too. We have a lot of mid laners um, up towards the top, which. Yeah. Uh, can always lead to an exciting season um, when mid lane gets to pop off and carry. Um, Evan averaging 10 kills a game across four games is fucking disgusting, by the way. Um, Tusini, Drago, Korn, Sarvis, all up here too. Um, yeah, Evan, when he doesn't have a support, chaining him down. Type beat. So true. Evan also averaging the lowest deaths uh, in the server or in the season is pretty impressive. Um, Psycho Carrot, high on these assists, high on the deaths. Uh, you know how it is. 1.56 KD. Um, we'd love to see it. Uh, my goats. My goats. But, I mean, we did mention Senna here, and I think uh, she's only... She's been picked twice and only banned once, which that doesn't seem right. No, uh, yeah, I guess it is, because she's only banned in this first game. Um, but uh, has she won yet? I think so. No, she's 0-2. No. So maybe this is like a fake-ass champion. Um, oh, right, because you fucking mm. griefed. Oh, yeah, I fucking sprinted it in that <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> okay. we, we forgot to talk about it. I don't know how I went over to this series, because in my head all week, I was like, okay, we got a clown on this fucking guy for doing this shit. And then I forgot. That was just a far fun game, you know? bro. Come on. So so for some reason, in the, the Fruitcakes comms, they decided that the correct way to run this roster is to put Mason on fucking support. And he got his ass gapped by Jackson. So, I mean, if everyone is like saying, like, points aren't real, points don't matter, this is true. Like... <laughs> Uh, there's a fucking canyon in the support lane here, and uh, I I don't know, Mason. Do you have any do you have anything to speak on? What went through your head when making this decision? Because uh, I, I know you're in the other room going, "Give me Senna, give me Senna. I can carry the game. I just build Enchantress. We can't lose." And then you fucking. No, I sprint, was just like, bro. "Let's play for fun and let's draft Senna." So I literally said to my team, "I'm playing for fun this game." So. So you just like entered. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Unashamedly, yes. I mean, Vaughn's <laughs> kill this man. True, I agree. He's filing the uh, <laughs> integrity review right now. I mean, I I'm all I'm saying. That is true. That is true. That's a strike. Yeah, honestly, you're kind of ace. This is disappointing. Uh, <laughs> One of our noble co-hosts being this, called out. this, bro. This is <laughs> this is questionable. We're not allowed to have fun in scrims, bro. Come on, man. All I'm saying is, my entire team said they had fun after this game, so. Oh, we're just going to lay it out there. Um, <laughs> uh, th this, this will be reviewed. Um, this will be reviewed? That's crazy. I mean, I was expecting this to be like, yeah, I was egoing, bro. I was going to beat them, but I just like actually saw it. No, no, no. This, I I'm throwing the game. Amazing. Um, but yeah, and then we the 08 No Mundo was uh, somehow worse. Uh, I would have preferred sure. another Senna game, but uh, yeah. So th there are some questionable decisions going on there. Uh, do you want to shout out Kathy though? Uh, had a few really nice set plays there. Um, unfortunately, team kind of yeah. fucking rolled, but uh, had a bit of an unfortunate uh level one scenario there with the uh, Renekton, and I think it was really hard for her to recover. But um, had a lot of good plays. Uh, I feel like Kathy's been looking good in both roles. Just something I want to shout out. Um. Uh, yeah, I think. It is tough to run rosters with both Mason and Julian because they're kind of both competing for the same role. But I think yeah. the solution is probably not to put Julian on ADC just from my perspective. But um, we'll have to see how Fruitcakes kind of adapts. They have a lot of rosters they can run. Um, and they've been doing very well with Kai. I believe that they're 2-1 and one when they're running him and 0-3 oh when they're not. Um, so just something to keep an eye on. 
um, as we go throughout the season. And I think 101 Thieves is going to be another team where you really want to watch the rosters that they're running, because I think there should be a lot of variants, um, depending on what they're running. Uh, sure. And I think we've also seen this from Metabusters too, but they've only played two series, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but I think this is a more conventional roster than what got run um, the first time around, because they did make a mid-series sub. Um, they kind of went to what I think will be one of their main rosters, but I think um, Metabusters is probably hoping to run Joey more often, is what I think. But it's kind of hard to know uh, without seeing more of their games. But yeah, I yeah. mean, Noam in chat is saying the same thing. Um, Joey's going to be a very good addition to this team. Um, I, th I hope that we can still win, but I mean, Noam is the one who will be uh, playing against him. Um, and Fuja's jungle has looked uh, solid, too. I don't think it's like a, a huge weak point for them, necessarily. Um, just a definitely a different style um, than Joey, so it's definitely a bit of a different experience. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, wait till we got Rex. True. Honestly, so true. I'm going to be excited to watch 101 Thieves with Rex if they ever play him. We will have to see. Uh, maybe the there wasn't as much to talk about as I thought. I thought the meta was like more defined, but then I'm like thinking and realizing it like totally isn't. Um, no, we have a lot of uh <laughs> one tricks or not one tricks, but like people playing more comfort champions. So I feel like most people aren't really sticking to a solved meta. So yeah, makes sense. Um, champions with the most no champion has even lost more than twice. This is some bullshit. True. No champions won more than three times. Nami, Darius, Nautilus. Like, is this really what we're watching here? Because this doesn't. This seems fake. Avery yeah, and Corrin and Drago. People are getting their one trick spend out too, right? Like, yeah. I think Kane has a really high ban rate. Yeah. Uh, Twitch, Udir, Katarina, Lux, Kane's banned three times. Um, Rel. Yes. Perma Rel, band. Perma banned versus PB. Uh, surely he would even play that champion if we left it up, but um, we'll have to see. Uh, Malphite banned three times is really funny. Um, True. you can't really search by bans, but I know, um, it got banned against Eric after we played it once. Um, but I feel like that's more of just, like, a coverage ban. It was banning against Bean here. I guess we just like just randomly banning Malphite. But we did ban Malph against Eric, so maybe, maybe we were onto something there. We, like, pre- All just not Malphite it, fans, know? I think, surely. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we ban Malphite because we frequently draft triple AD comps. True. This could be true. This could be false. I don't know. I ban. I was the one clicking the ban button on Malphite, and I didn't realize that's why we were doing it. So maybe <laughs> I just don't think he wants to play versus the Maldorok Phytomus. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we could pull up the Jarvan clip where you eat the or the Malphite ult clip where you miss the Malphite ult on the Cassidy. No, that, that's me. That's me playing it. I do enjoy it. <laughs> are, are we like live viewing that fucking clip because uh, it's funny? We should pull it up again for posterity. This is why Dean bids Malphite, not any other reason, I guess. My file explorer is lagging. How the fuck does this even happen? Okay. Uh, clips, league clips. It's a uh, casted and AFK what WTF right? That's the yeah. yeah. Casted and goes AFK. What the fuck? Amazing. How do I pause this? Okay. Um, we gotta pull this up on stream. Um, add a window capture. Amazing. It's so big. Uh, there we go. Everyone wants to see my my VLC. Honestly, okay. one of the greatest things to ever exist. Um, and I don't think it's working. The video encoder is uh, broken. Cool. Nice. Um, sick. Scuff stream, as always. Um, one, you can't say we're not consistent. Sure. Oh my god. So wait, are we? Wait, are you ever gonna upload the the sign up game? The yeah, yeah. I, just, I just kills? need time to actually sit down and do it because I do need to like sit down for like three hours to do that. So oh, that's fair. I'm gonna pull. Up, I'm going to okay. <laughs> start do going through mods and putting together a compilation of every smite you miss. That would be amazing. Valid. To that be would honest. be really good. Oh, no. Okay, this is possibly the greatest play I've ever made. As this is happening, yeah. I'm telling Mason, come gank my lane. I won't miss alt. 
He literally, there is no way a human ever dodges like that. I swear to God. We still get the kill, but like... Right, because he literally just right clicks and just like AFKs. Like, bro's controller <laughs> disconnected. This is why banned, by the way. <laughs> like, I, I have no explanation for that. Um, do we have any like good clips, though? Hmm. Oh, see, I even give the kill to my midlaner, this, this even though they missed. This one's a good one. This is old, old Rift Sharks practice. <laughs> lots, lots of counterplay there. Uh, what, what could this be? Amazing. Pull up the pentakills in the first two weeks. Oh wait, yeah. wait! <laughs> I forgot Wait, you have one. the clip. Wait, you have it. Oh, I do, awesome. I do. Watch this shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, where is the Shivada? Uh, I don't... I probably didn't name it something. A oh, Shivada double one shot. Here we go. Look at this shit. This shit is criminal. No champion should be allowed to do this. Like, 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 tell, tell me there's counterplay there. Dude, I missed my harvester, man. That item was so funny. Oh my god. Um. Oh, that set build in the world now deleted. I misplayed this horribly, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Lethality set hurts like a motherfucker. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Lethality Senna. Trolling. True. <laughs> okay. Well, now I think we've successfully killed some time. But uh, we will probably bring a extra segment back. Uh, I forget how much... How little there is to talk about when you only have two games a week instead of three. Even though we did have three yeah. games one We week, do need to bring back uh, status scrims. Not status scrims. Take their base. Uh, true, true, true. But... I don't know. I, I got some stuff in the works for the... The special segments but if anyone has any ideas uh feel free to toss it my way um i'm starved for content idea but um pull up the pentakills in first two weeks oh true 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 we can we can do that for for vod reviewing um it was these was there another pentakill in a different game that i'm forgetting please someone let me know um, I do not remember. I'm not going to lie. If there is a pentakill that isn't in this video, I don't know. Each team's acquisitions you just went over. That's true. Stav might have had one. Can we fact check this? Because I don't want to scrub through if it doesn't exist. Um, but. Uh, I, wait, I guess I had already gotten it here. Sorry. We don't have time stamps or anything, so this is going to be a little slow. Okay, here. Oh my god, they're still going! And then the mole bear, the, 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 what is happening? That is a four for zero! <laughs> that is a four for zero. When you're in the enemy base, and the enemies have bears. And now they're up to a kill! Think star. What can he do? Might have had one. Without even, I mean, not that ult would do much, but like, Go from no. What can he do to defend these next towers? Would it have been on uh, Jinx though? Because I feel like I would have remembered a Jinx Penta. Nah, I don't think it was in our game. It might have been though. I might be lying to you. Simmer, I think. Simmer! Wait! This is a Simmer! Simmer, go! Simmer, go! Simmer, Penta! Simmer, Penta! See, Jacob called it. Jacob called it before our team called it. But he stopped believing, is the funny part. Simmer, Penta! Simmer, Penta! Oh my god! Bro, it wasn't an hour. That's the Penta kill, right? Yes. Penta kill! <laughs> Dude, Banger cast actually from Jacob there. He gets so excited. They were knocking on the Nexus. Oh my god! Penta kill! We said, what can they do to revive and Dean showed us? Okay, I think that's it. And then here, we'll we'll shout out Evan, Evan Sue, he deserves it. Um fact check is coming through. We'll see if it is real or not, but 
Oh, okay. Maybe we skipped. It's up on well. I didn't it's, it's coming up here, I think. The calls here were really funny because I was just splitting and I was like, hey guys, like, don't fight, don't fight. And then they were like, no, 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 Evan's got this, don't worry. <laughs> but PB gets completely caught out there, has to flash, the Nami wave comes through, no one finds the engage, but that's a triple ulti onto the team, and two of them are forced to flash immediately. Do we get a here? Would I be playing it if he didn't, though? Okay, Mason's yeah. just a doubter. I don't remember a lot going on. Oh, you didn't watch it, so... <laughs> how, how would you remember no, I something watch you didn't game. watch? You told me you stopped watching 10 minutes in. This is 24 minutes in. But yeah, I mean, this game ended very quickly after this. Like, <laughs> it was literally the next fight. But... Um, Evan almost got a second pentakill, too, but... PB took one kill and I took the other. Uh, I needed to get a kill here. Like I'm zero zero one, like a minute before the game ends. Like I can't, I can't be doing all that, you know. But are you remembering Evans quadras in a different series? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have gotten quadra kills. Like there were a lot of hype multi kills in the the previous series um, with fruit cakes and one hundred one thieves. Again, just watch it; it's really good. I promise you. Also, if you are not in the know, I'm actually updating the news again this season. I forgot to do last season. Oops, but on the homepage. Um, latest videos are updated, and then like roster moves and everything will be posted. And if you want the YouTube playlist, they're all at the bottom. All the seasons are here. And, uh, you know, State of Scrims podcast, very, very important. Uh, if you're watching now, you know. And then Frostbite and Bilgewater Brawl are here. Um, I don't know. If y'all are the type that listen to YouTube videos to fall asleep, uh, any of these are probably good. Um... Especially the uh, the Frostbite Bilgewater Brawl, I feel like I just kind of talk at a very slow pace, and I get very tired and worn out, so it should help you uh, fall asleep too. Also, watch time, good, yes. True. And uh, don't fucking do this. This was a mistake. It, like, just tastes bad at this point. Like, it just tastes like sludge. Yeah. Like, I drank sludge. I just put a, I just chugged that shit. It was not that good. Yeah. Mistake. Um but yeah. I mean uh no one's lying here. YouTube monetization ain't shit. Uh I've gotten zero dollars from YouTube. Um but if y'all do have prime subs, please throw them at the channel. It helps uh keep the website up and running. Um but we will see. Uh yeah. maybe I'll get off my ass and actually uh print jerseys again now that I'm not broke anymore. But we'll see. Uh, project cars are expensive, so I might be broke again soon. Maybe that's the <laughs> that's the joke. But um, uh, we could probably wrap it up here. We're so close yeah. to an hour, though. Maybe I'll check the Baker base. Maybe someone's left us something majestic. You Maybe know? we have some hidden gems in the Baker base repository. Zero, zero responses. We fucking cleared that shit. Um, Tragic. Wait, wait. You know what we can do? We, we can tier list, tier list something. There's got to be a good one that we can just kill time with. Um, I thought Mason keeps the website up with his feet finder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to see the grippers on stream right now? No one was gifted to the tier one sub to PB. Amazing. Uh, we'll see if any of these are good. Um, the ultimate drink. Oh my god, there's so many. Why are there so many? These are terrible. The selection here is terrible. There's so much stuff and it's so bad. Um,. This is even worse. Wait, can I convince us to stop here? Uh, I am being invited to play ranked flex. So <laughs> five minutes. Tell them to wait five minutes, Mason. Are they not real friends? <laughs> Surely. Okay, these are all fucking terrible. We'll do. We'll do the short one for Mason's soul. Um, <laughs> Sunny D. Sunny D is a drink of all time for sure. <laughs> Can we put it in <laughs> fucking disgusting? The yeah, amazing F tier yeah. here. That shit tastes like water. Does it? Yes. Okay. It's not good. We I mean, can put a D tier for Sunny D. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like it fits in fucking disgusting though. Okay. 
Uh, sim- simply orange, orange juice. Uh, that's probably that's... like a, a, a upper a potential yes. Gold peak iced tea. Uh, M- mid iced tea. Mid iced tea. Yeah, definitely mid. What the fuck is this thing? Is that is that an icy? I see are like all time, right? Also, what the f- iced water is not the fucking top tier drink. That's some more shit right there. Yeah. Uh, good for you. I think I I see all time S tier. Are we agreeing here? Is I see the slushy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Agreed. Oh wait, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Arizona iced tea. S tier. Powerade C tier. C tier, yeah, mid. Um, this what the fuck is this Oasis shit? What is Fruitopia? Lipton iced tea, also F tier. Yeah. Booty cheeks. Oh, what the fuck is this thing? Madi Clamato? That shit sounds ass. I don't know what it is, though. I have no fucking idea either. Peace tea? Mid. Honestly, D tier. Kool Aid? That is a A or A? I feel like it's falling I can off, say, but... I can say, I can say, yeah. Okay. Minute, also, minute made orange juice. Mods, fuck this guy up. Um, Hell yeah. it, no, I was going to do it. <laughs> minute made juices? Not as They're good okay. as but I think this could be our first B tier entry. Yeah, honest. I think so too. Arizona Fruit Punch. Arizona Fruit Punch, I feel like, is not as good as their iced teas, right. unfortunately. Beer, beer A, though. I think it's A. It's still good. I still get them sometimes. It's just okay. nothing crazy. V8 is sleeper good, I promise. No, I agree with that. Okay. No, no, no. I fuck a- with are that. we A or Bing it? I feel like B is valid, but you fuck with it more than I thought, so I don't know. I can see B. I can see B. Okay, okay. Are you feeling A? Because I, I can also see A. The argument's there. Okay, maybe that's blue slushy and this is red slushy, but either way, that's they're both top, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, PC we already had. I don't really care about the flavors. I don't drink that shit. Coconut water? Uh, it's a kind of D tier, bro. Kind of ass. Okay. Kinda I, was, I was thinking B, so we, we can just see it. Call it the middle. Tropicana orange juice. Now we're cooking. That might be an S, but... Agreed. Agreed. Okay. I don't know what Five Alive Citrus is. Oh my god. Ocean Spray Cranberry. <laughs> I, okay, I love Ocean's <laughs> that, Cranberry. That shit is S tier, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. But Cran Grape is the step down. Yeah. It's not as good. Cran Pomegranate, though, that, that one's a brisk. Uh, that's also fucking F tier. Yes. Anything um, brisk related, straight to the fucking shower Nest, room. Nest tea, also F tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Pure Leaf Iced Tea is A or B, though. That shit good. You think so? It's, it's better. It's better than Gold Peak for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that I can agree. Oh, with. So we can we can be it, I guess. I think it is valid. Okay, high C, bro. So it goes <laughs> next to Sunny D. <laughs> there ain't no shot. Vitamin water, I feel like is D tier with the the peace teas. Uh, okay. I've been drink. I drank a lot of uh vitamin water at work and i thought it was like it, it kind of grew on me i'll it's say it's good. like a c tier my issue with it is that it's like fake healthy this shit is not yeah. better for you than water um well obviously right but uh, it's like ice, ice water i feel like goes in b tier if you have like that okay. that good tap water if you have fucked up tap water though you like if you're living flint uh, f tier yeah, ice water true. is s no nah, y- y'all are hating if you put any lower i unsub no, I'm sorry. What? Straight to the shadow realm. What is this? I no actually idea. can't tell what fucking creature this is. Is this like moonshine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arizona iced tea, but that flavor, I, it's just all good, I feel like. Correct. Red Gatorade? I don't know where Red Gatorade goes. I'm not going. I think it's better than Powerade, but not by much. Yeah, that's probably a B tier. But then. but Blue Gatorade, that that it's shit like is an A tier. That just shit is A tier. You're, you're correct here. Uh, this is just another pure leaf iced tea. I guess that's lemon iced tea versus normal. I don't fucking care. Uh, Minute Maid apple juice. 
It's like I feel like it's where did we put Minute Maid orange juice? Because it's like the same thing. It's yeah, okay. It's it's a staple. You can't tell me waking up at four a.m. is you sleeping in the matcha ice cold water. See, I have the problem that if I like just wake up, I like can't eat or drink anything. This is true. Every time I ask him to go get breakfast with me, it's an L. I can't do it. It like actually makes me sick. Um, the the good morning beer though I can do, which just proves how fucked up I am. Bro, I'm, is I'm a weak. Alcoholic. Real. Except I'm not. That's the problem. Uh, Red Powerade is also shit. Powerade is just all bad. Correct. Um, Correct. But it's better than our uh, our Lord. Capri Sun. Why'd they choose the worst flavor of Capri S-tina. Sun, bro? I feel like all Capri Suns are good, though. Yes. Huh? Okay, I think this, con- this concludes our list. Noam is hating on us for a valid reason, but um, we will go out here. Bro, sir, simply uh, just not a juice. If, story, if you disagree bro. with the tier list, or if you thought this was a good segment, please let us know in season discussion, or just comment on the YouTube video when it's out. But uh, thanks, yeah. thanks for your time, uh, and please tune into the series tomorrow and uh, Sunday. But and don't Thanks, don't y'all. don't fucking drink this shit. This is vile. Bad idea. Correct. Um but yeah, peace. See you.